Hi, I'm Ed. Welcome to Draw with Ed Veer. Okay, folks, today we are going to draw Max and Bird from my book, Max and Bird. Let me show you a little bit about this book. Here are the end papers. Here is a very showy offy pigeon who is flying. That will be quite an important part of this book. It says, this is Max. Max is a kitten. Kittens chase birds. This is bird. Bird is a bird. Birds get chased by kittens. Hello, said Max. Let's be friends. Yes, please, said bird. First, I'll chase you, said Max, then maybe I'll eat you up. You look like a tasty snack. <gasps> I don't like being chased, said Bird, and I'm far too young to be a tasty snack. I haven't even learnt to fly yet. Oh, said Max, but it's a rule of nature. Birds get chased by kittens. But friends don't eat, eat each other up, said Bird. Hmm said Max. We need to think about this. And this wall is where they sit and they have a very good idea. Bird doesn't know how to fly, so Max is going to teach him how. Now then, do kittens know how to fly? I wonder. But now, I think we should some drawing. So we are going to draw Max and Bird. So we start with a circle like this and another circle next to it like this. Hmm. Then we are going to, I think what we'll do next is we'll draw a little shape here, which is a nose. And we're going to do a shape like this, face head, one ear, like this, and one ear. and go down and around to meet there. Now we need to draw the pupils in his eyes and I want him, you'll see why, I want him to look this way. So we're going to draw the pupils looking that way, like that. Now we're going to draw him. Max is very simple. By the way, if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video at any time so you can catch up. So we draw a line going down like this, and then that is a little pull. We draw a line going down like this, and then his back and then when a cat sits down his back arches like that curves around there's sort of you won't see this because he's all going to be covered in well actually what we can do is we could draw it in and then we'll colour over it so a back leg when a cat's sitting down there's something like that He drew Leonard with me the other day, the lion. He did exactly this. So then the 
line goes like this, and his other front leg, you don't see the other back leg because it's sort of on the other side. The other front leg comes down like this, and like that, if you see. There we go. My colour, Max is all coloured in, so we're not going to see that. Now we draw a tail. That goes up like this because we're going to have somebody sitting there. Okay. So now color him in. And you see, we go over everything we've just drawn, but you get the sense of how everything is. So you still get the sense as there's a little paw, front paw, front paw. And Max isn't entirely happy about who is going to be sitting on his tail. So we give him expression like that and like that. Hmm, he thinks. And here we will draw that there. One large egg shape. And we want them to be looking at each other. So these pupils are over here. So we're going to try and make this pupil sort of correspond. So that's, you'll see in a moment. This is Bird. And we'll draw the shape of his body. Like this goes up, over, and down like this. And then tail feather one two and a little happy open beak like that and one leg and another leg a bit cheekily sitting on Max's tail there and we'll give him little wings like this we go. Now I always like to draw a bit of a shadow so I'll just lightly do that here like this and there. So that's a shadow. So that makes Max look as though he's sitting on the ground. Now, there's not a lot of colouring in to do here, so you might want to make a beautifully multicoloured background for Max and Bird to sit on. Um, I'm going to write my signature just here, and you might like to write your name on your drawings. Ed Fear. How did you get on? I'd love to see your drawings. You can share them with me using the hashtag drawwithedvere and you can find all of my videos at edvere.com. Please subscribe on my YouTube channel and then you can see all of my new videos and you can find some brilliant videos by other authors and illustrators at booktrust.org.uk forward slash home time. I look forward to seeing all of you next time.